Hi, I'm Alton Jones, winner of the 2008 Bassmaster Classic right here on Lake Hartwell. And again, I'm here for Outdoor Life. And I really just want to talk about our, our post press conference setup as we head into championship day on the final day. You know, one of the things that strikes me is that there's a couple of key differences from what we saw back in 2008. Number one, the water's higher. And with the water higher, that means more of the boat docks and more of the cover in shallow water is in the water. And so that's why you're seeing more fish coming from the shallow depths, guys like Randy Howe. But then you're seeing the opposite thing, you're seeing some guys still catch them out of the deep water. Tomorrow's going to set up as an epic battle between the shallow and the deep. Couldn't be set up any better than this if, if, if you scripted it out. Another thing that's different is that the water is much colder. Because of the severe Arctic cold front that's blasted through South Carolina over the past week to 10 days, and even though tomorrow's forecast is for a warm up, it's not going to warm up enough to make a substantial difference in the water temperature. So that's why the weights are a little bit down. If you look at the weights from 2008 and the weights from now, the weights are a little bit lower. Now, the tightness of the field. You saw the guys at the press conference, I, I think they're all separated by two pounds and change. You can go down to seventh or eighth or ninth place and they're all separated by three pounds and change. That opens up the gates for really body in that top eight or nine uh, people of the field for one big bite to be an absolute game changer. But what I'm really looking at here is I wanna look at consistency. I prefer to favor guys not who had a strong day and a weak day, but I like to look at the guys that had a 14 and a 15 or a 16 and a 14 who are really staying even keel. That to me is, is, is tipping a hand is which, at which guys are really on solid patterns and which guys are kind of running out of fish. Now the one exception there might be Kobe Carden, who's a little bit further down on the list because even though he wasn't consistent, he flip-flopped up instead of down with the heaviest stringer of the day, 19 pounds and change. Tomorrow, it's flip a coin. This is going to be one of the, the most exciting finishes we've ever had to a Bassmaster Classic. So stay tuned. This is one for the record books.